Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Hopefully you guys have had a great week. It's been a very busy week here at the Sirwin house. I feel like my camera is again too high a little bit. I don't know. Let's see if I can find you guys. Make sure I'm in the right place. This week we are doing Christmas and next week we'll do Halloween. <laughs> you know, there's no rhyme or reason for holidays. They don't have to go in order, right? That's how it's gonna be. Okay, why is my iPad doing this? Um, let's see, okay, why am I not finding? There we go. Hello, good, I've seen you guys jump on. Hello, hello. All right, I have a lot to share with you today. Okay, good, I'm there, okay. Um, let me just pull up comments real quick. It always seems to take a little bit of time to get this going. I, I have to say, hello, good, okay, good, I can see you guys. I have to say, you guys, I am half asleep. I don't know what's going on with me this week, but I literally could close my eyes right now and be out. You ever have those weeks where you just like feel like you can't get enough sleep? And I'm sleeping fine, I don't know why. So prepare for me to be a, a mess today. <laughs> I have been drinking my caffeine. That's not the problem. I don't know. I just really want, want to go lay down and take a nap. Anyways, I'm going to flip you guys around. I got some incredible things in the mail this week. Um, my birthday is at the end of the month, and you guys always just spoil me rotten. So I have to show you some of the things that I got this week. It was amazing. Oh, good. Patty's here. I'm glad Patty's here because... Patty's one of the ones that sent me something. Yes, 100 days till Christmas, Patty. I heard that on the Today Show. And that makes me almost panic. Um, and they're saying again this year, they're all, hold on. There we go. Siri started doing her thing. Um, on the, you know, the morning shows, they're like, oh, you need to start your Christmas shopping. Everything's going to be delayed, blah, blah, blah. Again, you know, I think they're lying. <laughs> You know, I fell for that last year, got panicked, and didn't have trouble finding anything. So, whatever. News people. I'm not starting my Christmas shopping this early. Okay, so I have to show you guys. So, Ashley sent me the most craziest, incredible gift. Uh-oh, that just came off. The most crazy, incredible gift. Um, I don't even know how to explain when I opened this how cute these are. She sent me um, a letter. Let me, I wanted to make sure I get it right. She said she started making these little things and they're made out of, um, hold on, I want to make sure I get it right, foam clay. So Ashley, I'm thinking it's like that Crayola clay that you can get at the craft store. It's real light and airy. Maybe that's what it is. But she said she found this, this page on Facebook called Glitz and glue and she learned how to make these so look how cute it looks totally real but it is not i mean so cute and so of course she made custom things for me um look at the nutter butters they look totally real i'm gonna be able to play a trick on my kids with these um look hershey's little mint macarons macar macarons they've got pink look at this one a triple layer one Ashley, I am floored by these. These are so cute. Look, little Oreos. So she said, you know, like, what do you do with them? Well, you can just make a, you know, you can get one of those little, those little glass dome things and a pedestal and put them on. I think that would be so cute. I am in love with these. So Ashley, thank you. That was such a fun treat for me to get. Um, it just was so unique and clever. So thank you. All right. So there's those. And then... I don't want to put them on the floor because my dogs will be like, oh, yes. And then I got a nice gift from Gina. Gina is my downline, and she always sends me the nicest little things. Scentsy, I can never get enough Scentsy, an Amazon card, and this beautiful card. Gina, you're so incredibly thoughtful. That's just beautiful. She said she got my birds and branches class in the spring and had all kinds of leftover pieces you know from the paper that was included and she made lots of cards so thank you so much for sending that to me and then patty patty's here patty is like um the gift guru like she sends these boxes to people that i just like i can't even fathom how much brain power went into making this 
she, I see her send boxes to people all the time. And then when I get one, I'm like, oh my gosh. So Patty sent this. She's made it out of a little, it's a brown bag. So cute. There's a little journal here. And she put pumpkins. She knows how much I love pumpkins. This little clip. I mean, it's just, look, cake in a cup. You know, I just don't even know what to say. Look how oh, so cute. Patty, patty, patty. Sunflower. This is like one of those little things that you hang. Does it smell? I feel like I've... Oh, yes, it does smell delicious. So like an air freshener. Beautiful card. And she made this. Look how gorgeous this is out of the paper pumpkin kit that everybody wanted. So beautiful. Um, and then she she said, um, totally not part of the theme. However, I think you'll like what's inside. Grid paper. This is the second person. Um, somebody else sent me, Jaquel sent me another grid. Um, well, I'll show you guys that in a little while. Little, another grid notebook. So funny. And then that. So that's so cute. Patty, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, some of you are just incredible gift givers. I wish I was. I'm like a gift card. I, I'm so not creative anymore with gifts. So I'm inspired by all of your amazing gifts. So Patty, thank you. Gina, Ashley, you guys, amazing. Here's my other journal that Jaquel sent me. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's got grid paper. It's a Erin Condren notebook. Have you guys ever had those? I know they're popular. Okay, and then I got two really cute cards. Look at this one. This is from my downline, June. I love the way she colored the witch. This is what we're doing next week for Facebook Friday. Um, the little witch. It's kind of like a little... Hold on, I opened it. Maybe it was... No, okay, wait. This came off, unfortunately, in the mail. I got to glue it back on. But it's so cute. I just love it. I, the coloring is really good. And then Chris. Chris always sends me the most gorgeous cards. Look at that. I'm going to have to put it in my case pile. You know, I'm always looking for fancy fold card ideas. Thank you, Chris. You guys, so sweet. Thank you so much. What a nice surprise to get things like that in the mail. Okay, now let's talk a little bit of shop. Let's do a little bit of business. Um, weekly deals. Hopefully you guys saw these. They went up yesterday. Um, Pearlized enamel effects um, is in there. I have that and I haven't used it, but I love that stuff. Um, there's some ribbon. That uh, perfectly penciled designer series paper is really good. That's on sale. Um, the scallop treat boxes, those are good too. So anyway, and masking paper. Gosh, there's a lot of really good stuff in here this week. So if you are shopping this week, make sure you get those. You check out the weekly deals um, let's pull up the faith the stampin up page so you can see pull up you know if you're shopping these are things you probably want to add on because they're they're inexpensive low price items um when you get to the stampin up website click those three little lines right there and then specials and then september weekly deals will be right there and there they are and on the day was it yesterday day before yesterday the day before they go live the next week's september deals post at the same time as the current week so there's one day a week where you can actually double dip and shop both last week's and this week's weekly deals if that makes sense all right um i'm gonna remind you another time about this world card making day event it's free the event itself is free. You need to register for it. I shared that link here on Facebook. Um, so if you haven't registered for it, make sure you register for it. Even if you're not going to be there on October 1st, I believe there's recorded content that you can access. I hope I'm not telling you something wrong, but I believe I remember that part. Um, these are the bundles that they're using. And if you order any of these between now and October 1st, you get a pack of the iridescent pearls for free. Just make sure that you add the pearls to your cart to get them for free. And one of the sets is a warm welcome. And it's a sneak peek from the spring catalog. I love this one, so cute. All righty, um, all-star tutorial bundle. I think I'm behind in sending this. I can't remember when I sent this out last. You earn this for free when you spend um, $50 or more with me online. And I think I'm behind. So if you ordered for me in the last 
week, week and a half. I probably haven't sent it to you yet. I'll send it over by, by my computer so I can get it done. Anyway, this month, um, we are doing the Abigail Rose Suite. There are 12 projects in here. They're all video tutorials, and each one includes measurements in um, metric and imperial and supply list. And here is mine this month. Um, you can get this for free when you shop with me. Spend over $50. Um, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. And my downline, they get it for free. My downline gets all my PDFs for free. Okay, I want to show you this. We have a new kit. And the only way you're going to see when we have new kits is to check the kit page online. So periodically when I see one pop up that I think is really cute and I want to share with you, I'll order it so you guys can see it. This is a Christmas tags kit. It's um, called Christmas Gifting, and uh, it's not in any catalog, it's only online. So when you go to the website again, click those three little lines, shop products, and then find the page that has kits. There's lots of really cute kits in there. It comes with a block, has a stamp set, Merry Christmas, just for you, good sentiments. And you know, I don't know about you guys, but I need tags. Christmas tags. I always need, you know, down there, down at the last like few days of Christmas, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've wrapped these presents. It needs a gift tag. And then I end up just writing on the box, writing on the wrapping paper with Sharpie <laughs> for my kids. But you need to have some gift tags on hand, right? Got to have those gift tags. So that's the kit. You can find it online. Wanted to make sure you guys see it. Um, this is the last time I'm going to remind you about the Scary Cute Halloween Treats class to go. The deadline is Wednesday the 21st, this Wednesday. So this is the last time I'll tell you about it. Um, you, I will have it out by hopefully September 28th. Hopefully. It'll be to you by the very beginning of October. Um, five treats. Um, it includes a PDF. It includes... Uh, ribbon, washi tape. Um, I'm drawing a blank. See, I told you guys I'm sleepy today, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a mess of whatever I'm doing today. <laughs> I can just guarantee you. Um, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. Um, I, I have a link to, to the information page at the bottom of today's blog post. Um, if you want the details, there's also a video there that you can watch, and then you have to email me for the registration link. Or if you're on my email list, um, if you're on my email list, I sent it out earlier this week. It was in the email that I sent about the one day sale. Okay. Okay. Um, I see your question, Connie, and I don't know. Does a kit also have a refill? Some, somebody will check and look and see. I just don't know the answer to that. Um, Club Create for October is all Christmas. It's the gingerbread sweet, sweet gingerbread. Um, we'll be making this box with cute Christmas cards. Um, right now I have it closed on the website, but if you want to join Club Create, send me an email and let me know. Um, I am adding people slowly um, to make sure that we don't get too many. Um, but if you want to join Club Create, send me an email. Um, this PDF and video is available on my in my PDF store. And you can find my PDF store by clicking um, Shop at the top of my blog. And it'll, it's a drop-down, and one of the options is my PDF store. Okay, that is that. Now, let's see. Um, I, have I even told you guys what we're doing this week? Trimming the tree? Yes, trimming the tree. This is not from the holiday catalog. It is from the annual catalog. There are a few stamp sets in the annual catalog that are Christmas, and this is one of them. And it does not have dies with it in the annual catalog, but for right now, in, during the month of September, Stampin' Up! has released um, six sets of dies to go with stamp sets that don't have them, and this is one of them. It's a great little set. It's got lots of accessories for your Christmas trees, and it's got three really good labels. It also has a cute little basket and a planter to put your Christmas tree in. So that's what we're doing today. It's part of the Perfect Partners promotion. Um, that You can get the dies separately. So if by chance you've already bought the stamp set, you can buy just the dies. If you haven't bought the stamp set, then you can buy both as a bundle and save 10%. Um, so I will have a link to this uh, when I update uh, the video when I'm done. So you guys can click and go see. We've done Facebook Friday with the Apple Blossoms. 
with the Yeti and then today the trimming the tree. And we did Playful Piggy um, a couple of months ago before the dies were out. So um, go check them out. It says that they're available through September 30th. And then it says also while supplies last. I actually didn't realize that. While supplies last. Those are scary words. <laughs> while supplies last means something's going to sell out and somebody's going to be upset. It always happens. Always, always happens. Okay. Let me get situated and we will get started. I've got a prize for somebody today. Let's see if I can move that out of the way like that. I can't see comments on my iPad. I can only see them on my, well, I can see them on my iPad, but I have to keep touching it for it to like show them. So that's why I'm using my computer. I don't know what, why that is. Lisa Keen, you are the winner from last week. I have your mailing address. Um, thank you for sharing my video, Lisa. Um, you guys, I have a prize every week, sometimes two prizes um, to give out um, for somebody who shares the video, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Make sure you comment. Let me know that you shared. This week, it's the Design a Treat Box Die. And you know what? This stamp set looks kind of boring, right? You're like, oh, what's that? Well, let me just show you what the, you might not have seen this. The design a treat box. Let's see what page is it on. Um, we're definitely going to be using this. Don't you worry. Oh my gosh. I am like sleepy and I can't even read. Okay. 61. This is the little set that makes the animals, the animal boxes right? Okay. So that's what I'm giving away this week. Now, doesn't that make a little more sense? That's those stamps. So cute. Look, even an advent set. So anyway, somebody who has shared the video next week will be the winner. All right. Now we are ready. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. We're glad you're here. Every Friday, I pick a product and make three projects with it. I type up a PDF for each uh, that has each of the projects on it. It'll have the supply list and the measurements. And then the things that I've talked about also are over here on the second page. Um, it's free. You can save it, print it, whatever. That way you don't, uh, you know, if you're like me, you write down things on a post-it note and then you lose the post-it note. Nine times out of 10, I lose the post-it note. So this you can just save to your computer in a folder. You have it, whatever, and you can go back and refer to the measurements. Um, also, I offer the make and takes for free with an online order. So if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, um, $35 minimum and using this host code, I'll send you the projects. They look like this. They come, they're all ready for you to do. You will need the stamp sets. I don't do any stamping. This right here in the front is just a thank you tag I make each week um, using this stamp set. But you'll need, for these, you'll need the dies and the stamp set. The um, trimming the tree dies and the or no tree trimming dies and trimming the tree stamp set you'll need the bundle to make these ink and adhesive okay and so that deadline is monday at midnight to get those orders in okay we're ready let me get a sip of my diet coke we're gonna get started now i usually do some videos ahead of time pre-record and I'm telling you guys, something with me this week, I just cannot like get moving. So I didn't get the videos recorded until today, this morning, and I only recorded two of them. Um, so the first and the last, if you want to watch a, I call them clean recordings. They're just, you know, without all the Facebook nonsense, the chatter and stuff. If you come back and you want to watch it, you can go, um, they're linked under the photos in today's blog post and on YouTube. Okay, okay, we are ready. So this first card, we're going, there's several ways to make your tree, right? Well, maybe not several, there's two or three. Well, I guess that's several. You can stamp and it has two step stamping, which is what we're gonna do here. You can use this die to cut out that tree. Then we'll use this die and this die to cut out a tree that's not stamped. And then there's this second tree that's smaller. Um, we're not using a smaller tree today, but you know, you got options. Okay. So two step stamping always, I always recommend that you use your stamparatus. This one in particular, I, I tried to stamp it, um, you know, freehand 
and did not work. <laughs> you like the Facebook chatter. I, Susan, I know some people do. Some people do not. Um, but sometimes when you want to make a project, you're like, just get to it, right? You're like, enough with the chatter. I need to, I need the measurements. I'm right standing here waiting to cut my paper. So I make those clean recordings for those instances, right? So then everybody's happy. Well, maybe not everybody, but 95% <laughs> of people are happy. Okay, so I'm going to use Garden Green and we're going to stamp off, um, which means we're just going to take a layer of ink off. That way our tree will be lighter. It's going to be two-toned. So I'm just stamping it there on that grid paper. And then I'm going to put my white and I'm going to stamp it again. And so we have a lighter shade of green. Okay. And for some reason I cannot ink this stamp without getting ink all over the, all over the plate. All right. Now you're going to take the second stamp and line it up. Now I got to pull it down and look at it. You can see when the little, the little, I don't even know what to call it. Oh God, I need my glasses. You can see when the little holes match up where they're supposed to go and you just kind of wiggle it get it in there it's not i don't think it's exactly a, you know like an exact match i don't think it's supposed to be <laughs> or maybe i'm just telling myself that but uh when you stamp it this is we're going to do this in full strength ink we're not going to stamp off but the little darker ones kind of fill in where the white is does that make sense okay so there we have it easy right easy now what you can do if you're going to make a lot of these you have two plates and put one tree on one plate and the other tree on the other plate and then you can just boop boop move your paper boop boop you know like you can make a um assembly line with your um stamparatus i only have one plate on here you can also use the other side of the plate too if you want all right, you know what? I am not going to stamp that first because this die, when you put it down, you can't see where it's going. So I'm gonna stamp on it after I cut it out. I, it, 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 this morning when I did it, I did line it up perfectly, but I think maybe that was just kind of lucky. When you can't see where you're putting the die, where the word is, it makes it a little tricky. All right, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, Judy, the sound effects. I know I always have little sound effects that go with everything. All right. So your tree and your label. Oh, darn it. You guys thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? Don't worry. I wasn't. I was going to say shoot, but then I said, darn it. That, I mean, truly, <laughs> I promise. We keep it G rated around here for sure. Now this little basket is so cute. It's gonna put texture on our craft paper. Um, have you guys seen, some of you probably even have them. Now, you know, we always would put a Christmas tree skirt around our tree. Now you can buy these collars for your tree that look like it's sitting in a big basket or a big, um, you know, like a tub. Oh, they're so cute. I want one. I, I really want one. I need to get one. I've been saying it for a few years. They're very cute. So that's kind of what I think this looks like. We've got two dies worth of bows. So we're only going to have to run it through one time. <laughs> yeah, the UPS guy, the pups, the neighbors. I know, you know, it's very quiet in the cul-de-sac today. Nobody's, nobody's blowing off their leaves. Nobody's revving their engine or dragging their trash can across the rocks. It's very quiet. No storms today. I don't know. But you know what? The hour's not over yet. I am sure we'll be interrupted somehow. The dogs have gotten good. Have I guys have I showed you guys? Oh, do I have it? Okay. I have to show you. Uh, we're I'm interrupting this project for a commercial, okay? You guys know I have three schnauzers that bark a lot. Charlie is our, one of our older schnauzers, and he was a rescue. And he's like Mr. Nervous Nelly. He barks 
non-stop. He barks all the time. Well, okay, he barks at the house. When we take him for a walk, he doesn't bark at anybody. But when he's here, he freaks out. If he sees movement at the door, um, you know, the UPS man. This has been going on for 11 years. I have tried everything with that dog. Nothing would break him of the barking. Until I got a Facebook ad, you guys. It was an Amazon Facebook ad. And it had this pet corrector, okay? All it is, is compressed air. You know, like you clean your keys with on your keyboard. That's all it is. Now, they charge you $10 for this compressed air. But let me tell you, it totally works. For the first time ever, we have broken him of the horrible barking. And you know what? Now, I don't even have to press it. I just show it to him and he is like, oh no, and he slinks away. The doorbell rang the other day. He's sitting right here at my feet. The doorbell rang. It was the UPS man. He, you know, ring and knock. Why do they do that? Um, and I mean, he could hear him. You know, we have a window right here. He just looked at me. He didn't bark. You guys, I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you what a miracle that is. So if you have a dog that barks, try the compressed air. Now, I don't know if it makes the same sound as the compressed air you would use to clean your keyboard. It, it feels like maybe it's a little louder. I, I, would, I would show you guys, but he's right here and it makes him so upset. He does not like it. <laughs> so I don't wanna do it because he's being such a good boy. Sitting there down there at my feet, sleeping like a cute little dog he's supposed to be. Okay, so after that commercial is over, now I'll tell you about about the card we're making. Um, I cut out six of those real red bows and I'm gonna just put them on with um, glue, little dots of glue. You can use your little sticky part of your um, take your pick tool to pick them up. Now, normally I tell you guys to put adhesive sheet on the back of things like this. However, these are so small and there's six of them, I feel like that would be a little, maybe a little bit too tedious. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, Cynthia, we tried the water mister. It had no effect. We tried everything. So no, you don't spray it at the dog. You just go, it's almost like, you know at football games where they press a, you know, like that. It just, it doesn't make that noise. It just makes that real high pitched pressure, air pressure. And all I have to do is just whoosh, and it's so loud that it like stops them in their tracks. And he hates it. He's looking at me. <laughs> He's like, he knows. Um, you don't spray it at them. It doesn't do anything to them. Nothing. It doesn't smell. Nothing really comes out. I mean, I guess air comes out. But it's just the sound that just kind of snaps them out of their barking. Now, this paper, you guys, is called... Um, sweetest Christmas and it's the candy cane paper and it's so adorable I think it might be my favorite Christmas paper in the catalog um, I have a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five and these pieces are um, three and a half by two and three fourths so they overlap a little bit and then I've got a piece of craft right here just that's four inches wide and we're going to put that right there Your dog thinks a water mister is a facial, <laughs> Denise. Well, Denise, she goes to the spa, so that's why she thinks that. We, we create these little monsters ourselves, don't we? You know, we tried everything. I mean, everything that you can imagine with him. And he, he could not be broken of the barking. And when people are here, he barks, barks. I mean, Denise knows, barks, 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 all nonstop. Um, but this, I don't know what it is, but he was like, okay, that is the one thing I will stop barking for. Dimensionals right here in the middle with a little scalloped, um, look at this. Look at my dimensionals. <laughs> this is what I have left. I'm gonna use them today. We're gonna to use them up. I hate that. That those edges are dimensionals. I just hate using it. 
All right, this is um, the contour scallop dies. It's the smaller of the scallop, stitch scallop. Actually, let's put the little basket collar thing. Hi, Laura. Right there, and then this. So the basket is cut from craft cardstock as well, and then we've got our little, oh, this will be good for this. We've got our little sentiment, our skinny oval. We need some stitched oval dies, don't we? We've got every other shape, but we need some stitched ovals. There we go. Last but not least, you can, or you can just leave it off. Add some linen thread around the top. Isn't that cute? I just, this paper and these colors, I just love them so much. This paper has real red and sweet sorbet in it which I would never have thought to put together. But there you go. Merry Christmas, peace and joy, easy peasy. All right, that's my favorite card today, for sure. Well, I don't know, I like the other one too, but <laughs> I, I think because it's red, I always love red, and it's got polka dots. Red polka dots, I mean, what else? What else could there be? Okay, next project, Let me let me clean up a little bit. Let me clean up just a bit. Um, the next one we're going to make, this is the same, that same paper, the um, Sweetest Christmas paper, but some of the pieces have pool party in them, which I love. Real red and pool party, I think make a great Christmas card. All right, I'm running out of room. We're also gonna use this right here. That, that little red thing right there is this bundle, Handmade Wishes, and it has this new punch, which is Totes Adorbs. It's a good, big shape. Sometimes we don't, I feel like I need, you know, just a something big and a punch too, no less. All right, so we're gonna do our Christmas tree this time from just white. Um, we're not gonna stamp it. We're gonna use um, this tree. I'm thinking I need another piece of white. Um, we're gonna cut that, the white tree out of there, okay? Like that. And then we're gonna get our, our other piece of white over here. And we're gonna stamp the little ornaments. You've got three ornaments. And we're gonna do, we need six of them, okay? We'll do three in pool party and three in real red. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, and then let's clean this one and we'll do this one in red. Six, okay? All right, now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. This is when, um, <laughs> Randy, my gnomes are very good, thank you very much. They're asking where the pumpkins are. I haven't brought the pumpkins in yet. They're like, hello, lady. We're just standing over here with no pumpkins around us. We need some, we need some decoration, friends. Hopefully this weekend I can get all that out. Now, this is where I wish we still had our magnetic plate, but we won't talk about that. Because <laughs> these dies are little, so see how that, you have to use the outline die because this die right here only just cuts out the little branch, you know, the little branch textures. It doesn't actually cut the outline of the tree. But now we're gonna take, and we've got six of them. Can I get them all on there and run them all through at the same time without any of them slipping? What do you think? Would you like to place your bets before I do it? I'm feeling like I'm not gonna be able to do that, but we're gonna try. All right, so luckily we've got, you know, enough dies that all we have to do is go around, go through one time. Mm, is that right? Nope, that one's already moved. We turn, 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 turn. See, my hands start to get shaky because I'm like, oh no. That looks wrong too. 
Is that the right one? Yeah, I guess that's, that's not right. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. Hello. Okay, everybody. Why does that not look right? Okay. Hmm. Okay, for some reason that looks wrong. This one looks right. Hold your breath. Everybody hold your breath. Okay. All right, all right. Can I do it? Okay, now, here we go. Why is, you know what, I guess because the pool party, I can't see the white. Okay. Ooh, okay, here we go, here we go. You gotta like put that plate down like fast. Oh, look at, okay, if you bet against me today, you would have lost because I did pretty darn good. I have to say, I did pretty darn good. Oh, that one looks wrong. I don't know why. Is it the wrong? No, it's not the wrong die. I don't know. It just looks wrong. Oh, well. It's too little. No one will notice. That's, if you still have your magnetic plate, this will be much easier. I uh, taped mine. I told you guys we did Gorilla Glue. Yeah, well, it didn't last. And it started, I don't know, it started doing weird things. So, not using it anymore. <laughs> Joan, you can do it. Thank you. Okay, so now, you see how it's got all this texture, these little, like, branches? I took my Take Your Pick tool and just kind of, I don't know what this random red dot is, um, just kind of poked them out to give us a little more, to make our tree a little more three-dimensional, okay? Okay, while I do this, we, from time to time, talk about what shows we're watching. Everybody let me know what show you've been watching. That's really good. And I will fill you in on what we have found lately. Only Murders in the Building. It's on Hulu. Steve Martin and... Uh, Oh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Steve Martin and... I oh, can't remember. Hello, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's hilarious. If you have Hulu, you need to watch it. Okay, so see how I poked all those out? All right. Um, only murders in the building. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We need, we need a second one. Hold on. We need a solid one. So I'm going to need to get another piece of paper. Um, it's really cute. There's two seasons. And I watched them like that. Have you guys watched that? Martin Short. Thank you, Martin Short. Steve Martin and Martin Short. I mean, does it get any better than Steve Martin and Martin Short? Hot in Cleveland. That one's kind of old, isn't it, Dawn? But it's supposed to be so good. Um, okay, so if you haven't watched that, watch that. Um, also, I'm, I'm going to tell you a, a show that's a really weird show. I may have told you guys about it before. I'm almost, I'm almost, i almost embarrassed. I don't want to tell you about the show. It's called Resident Alien. Who has watched this dumb show? Resident Alien. It is the funniest show on TV right now. It is weird and silly and dumb, but it makes me laugh. It's that guy. You'll recognize him. He's in a lot of things. And he plays an alien and... It is the funniest thing. If you're kind of like weird, quirky shows like that, check it out. I think it's on the Sci-Fi channel. You guys have probably seen the commercial for it. They play it a lot on other channels. Um, so those are the two shows we've been loving. Wait, there was something else. Oh, I know. Abbott Elementary. It won this week for um, the Emmys. And I kept hearing buzz about it, so I had to check it out. It's also on Hulu, but it comes on ABC. If you are a teacher, you will die. It is so funny and so accurate. It's very good, and it um, it has a cute little story. The girl that wrote it, um, she's, like, young. She's, like, I don't know, young. And she wrote it, produced it, stars in it. It's so cute. So if you've ever been a teacher, you know that there are some funny, funny things that go on in the school. So, and, and then there's just the goofy characters that are on there. So those are my three recommendations. You guys like it? 
Which one are you talking about? Um, Resident Alien or Abbott Elementary? Nobody is saying that they watched Resident Alien. Am I the only weirdo? Come on, somebody has to watch it. It's funny, funny, funny. Okay, so I put all of our little ornaments on there. It took a while, so we had to talk about other things. We're gonna add in some bling. Got some new rhinestones. And we'll use your our take your pick tool. My take your pick tool is getting quite the workout today. So now, okay, hot in Cleveland. I haven't watched that. Is Betty White in that? I feel like Betty White is in that. Okay, those two are sticking together. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I have some other news to tell you guys. They are finally starting our house on Monday. And by starting our house, I mean clearing the lot. <laughs> We're doing a build on your own lot, so it seems to be taking three times as long as anything else. And finally... Monday's the day, you guys. It's very exciting. Okay, never seen Resident Alien. No, you haven't seen it. Um, we get together as a whole family. Denise, okay, so Denise says she watches it with her point. It's hilarious, right, Denise? Humans on Prime Video, interesting and sad. Oh, Patricia, I don't know if I can do that right now. Sad. <sighs> you guys have watched. Okay, yeah, Rebecca, you like Abbott. Um, never have I ever on Netflix. I've seen that pop up. Wondered if that was good. Um, Sandman on Netflix. No. Um, is that kind of new? Is it animated? Sandman? Betty White. Yeah, she's a classic. Anything with her is so good. First season of Resident Alien. But, um, you didn't think it was funny, Carol? It was I mean, it's... Some people, like my mom. I don't know if my mom's watching here. She would, she would hate that show. She wouldn't like it. There's something out there for everyone, right? It's just funny, funny. But I haven't heard anybody talking about it, and I am surprised because what is that guy's name? Alan? Alan something. I, you've seen him. If you see his face, you'll recognize him. He's been in tons of shows. Okay, so we've got a piece of that same designer series paper, Sweet as Christmas. I've got a strip of Pool Party DSP from the Subtles stack. And I'm just going to put it on a piece of pool party cardstock just to give us an extra layer. Make us a little fancier. Put that there. Then I have cut one of these large um, seasonal labels. And let's get our janky dimensionals out over here. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw while I was chit-chatting. What I did here is I cut a solid... Um, Christmas tree to put behind it so that when you, you know, since we poked out those, um, all the little branches, you can kind of see what's back behind it. So we wanted it to be white and look kind of fuller, a little more dimensional. And so that's what I did. And then we just decorated it and we're going to put it here on a seasonal label. Seasonal labels were new last year and they're great. Andy, Alan, how do you even say that, Carol? Alan Tudick? You would not recognize his name. You would not. Probably not, but you will recognize his face. Okay, I forgot also. See, when I start talking, I forget lots of things. We got to cut out this, this planter right here. We have time to talk today. Today's projects are easy. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick that I did with this. Actually, let's do this part first. I wanted the planter to be pool party-ish. So is my pool party marker dried up? Okay, hold on. I have another one. Hold, please. Well, I only have light. But so you can take your, your Stampin' Blint. What is happening? Are all of my markers dry? No, it's not dry. I just can't see it. So you can take your stamp and blends and color on your metallic paper and it's going to give it more of that color. You know, it's not going to be totally, that isn't dry. It's just, it's not going to be, you know, like a solid color like you would on white paper, but it's going to give it that tint. So now we've colored it with pool party. So it's a little bluer and you can let it dry and then do it again. Let it dry, do it again to add some layer to it. 
some layers of pool party ink. All right, so there's that little cute little bucket or planter or whatever. We'll put a dimensional on the back of that. Bring back, oh, come on. <laughs> My dimensionals, the backs are coming off before I can get them out of the paper. Okay, now we've got to do our sentiment, okay? We're going to stamp this outline, this label outline. Again, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, this is from Handmade Wishes. And we're just using this cute little outline right here. And we're going to stamp that in white. Um, yes, I am, Jill. I am presenting my stamp set at On Stage in November in Arlington. Um, I can't wait. I um, apparently was supposed to already have my stamp set in my hand, and I don't have it. So um, they're sending it to me this week. Well, it'll probably be next week when I get it. I'm very excited. Very excited. Thank you for asking. All right, so actually, let's also, before we do this part, do our sentiment. I don't know about you guys, but my craft ink, like, it all, like, ends up in the corners. And I didn't use my embossing buddy. Uh-oh. Let's see how we do. Okay. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Let's see if our powder sticks where it's supposed to stick. Oh, good, Linda, you'll be there? Good. I will definitely be doing a Facebook Live with it. We'll have a special Facebook Friday. I can't even tell you what it's called. We'll have a special Facebook Friday using my Million Dollar Stamp Set. Some of you are going to like it, and some of you are going to be like, that's dumb. I don't like it. And you know what? That's okay. We all have different tastes. <laughs> it's a fun set. I'll tell you that. It's fun. It's not for sympathy cards or, you know, thinking of you. It's more fun kind of things. Some of you I know have already seen it. Um, if you are Stampin' Up! demonstrator, some demonstrators get what they call a um, product survey, and you can see what's coming. And so I know some of you have seen it. All right. Boop, 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 boop. I think we're good. Um, cutesy Joan, you would be right. You would definitely be right. Okay. Um, oh, Linda, I don't know about pre-order. They haven't told me that. Huh. Probably not. Probably not. All right. We're going to punch this out. Don't we love when something has a punch and we don't have to stand up and go use our cut and emboss machine? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just want it to be easy, and that's what a punch is. Um, my stamp set set does not have dies, um, unfortunately, but it's cute. All right, we're just going to put that right there like that. And then, last but not least, we've got pool party ribbon. And we're going to add a bow to the top of our tree. Do any of you have a bow at the top of your real tree? I do. I actually have a buffalo check, giant buffalo check bow at the top of my Christmas tree. Not right now, but <laughs> when I bring the Christmas tree out, um, it's buffalo check. Okay, do I have glue dots? Hmm, glue dots. Apparently, I do not. Hmm. I bet they're down behind my desk. Let me grab some over here. I love this sheer ribbon. It's light and it's easy. Yes, Carla, I will be demoing it at on stage. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and ta-da! <laughs> Voila, there you go. Another cute Christmas card. That one's a little more involved I would say not overly difficult but more involved and this handmade wishes set is so cute I need to use it more all right let me clean up my mess and then we'll do our last project 
which is a 3D treat box, you guys. You'll love it, I think. I assume you'll love it. You may not. I don't know. It's an easy one. It is easy. Okay, hold on. More Diet Coke is needed. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, Buffalo check. I know. Okay, this last project is a triangle treat box. And it is, I think, I think it's very easy to put together. Doesn't require any dies. The actual box itself does not require any dies. You're going to need a stylus and a ruler. You can use the stylus on your take your pick tool. You could use a stylus that comes with your Simply Scored. I think you could probably even use a bone folder. Okay? But what you're going to need to do is get a half a sheet of Garden Green cardstock. Five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to score it at four and a fourth. All right. Now I'm going to use this ruler right here to make a mark. You want to make a mark in the middle. So five and a half, the middle of five and a half is two and three fourths. So just a little boop. Let's see, where's my pencil? Okay, just a little boop right there. Boop. Make sure you can see it. Do it on the other side as well. All right, now get your ruler and your stylus, and we're going to, um, I have apparently white embossing powder on my table. Um, we're gonna score a line from this line right here to that little line we just made. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna do on the other side as well, like that. And then again on this side. I was thinking Christmas tree shaped box for a Christmas tree stamp. I don't know, that's just where my brain went. All right, now what you've done is made score lines, but they're not gonna be as deep as the one you make on your Simply Scored. Um, I can see them on this side, but I can't see them on that side. So you're gonna need to really watch what you're doing and fold your paper along those lines and use your bone folder to make it nice and crisp, okay? Because it's not real deep, so your paper might bend in a place that it's not supposed to. I mean, that score line is there and it's guiding your paper, but just keep an eye on that, on that line. Okay, so there it is. And look, this is how you put it together. That's it. Do you see that? Watch, I'll do it slow. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy, so easy. So now, and I was trying to explain this on the video today and I, the words were failing me. You want to overlap the same two like you don't want to do like that well i don't know maybe you do i want to have these two go over those two so that the front has rounded edges and not this sticking out does that make sense all right so then just get a hole punch and punch holes while you're holding it closed like that and then we're going to use the silver threaded twine and you're gonna go in actually we got to put some candy in it here's some nuggets left from last week thanks i'm glad you guys like my box ideas i've done a triangle box before but this one's a different size all right and then let's get that where it's supposed to be oh no oh no hold on it all fell out you know, I knew today couldn't be that easy. Go back in there. I think that this box would be good for Hershey Kisses. I love, there's so many flavors of Hershey Kisses, but I never really like, I don't know what to do with them, you know? This would be a good box for that. All right, why is this wanting to fray? 
I'm making this look much more difficult than it has to be. See how that goes? Like that. I mean, that's it. You can also adhere one of the sides down if you want and leave the other open. And then the person, the recipient, can just open the side when they untie. All right, there we go. Let's cut off like that. And there you go. Okay, now we got to make a piece of DSP pattern paper, designer series paper that fits on the front of that. So this measures, well, I better look so I don't tell you the wrong thing. Five and a fourth, oh, I was going to tell you the wrong thing. Five and a fourth by three and seven eighths. And so on this side, five and a fourth, we need to make a little mark. Um, the middle but. The middle of five and a fourth is two and five eighths, which is one little tick mark past the half. All right. And then grab your trimmer and we're going to cut it from that little tick mark down to that. And yes, you can make your score lines on the trimmer as well. I just feel like I have a little bit better control with my ruler than I do. I didn't do that right. Let's let's fix that. Um, than I do with the trimmer. Okay. There we have that. Um, Cynthia, you know, she says you could use this as an ornament. I actually had that thought today while I was making my other video. It would be a cute ornament, right? It would be really cute. And look how perfect that paper fits in there. It only took me three tries to get that right. <laughs> A lot of paper was wasted with me trying to get that triangle right. But I got it right. Okay, so, oh, wait, we've got one more piece, another piece. Again, this is the sweetest Christmas paper. We're just going to put a little strip across there. And then snip, snip, and there we go. Now, let's make our Christmas tree. This time, we're going to use the stamp that, where's my, where did it go? Um, we're gonna use the lights, the little Christmas light stamp. Okay, hold on, where's my, oh, it's right here. All right, so bring back your Stamparatus. Let's take this one off. We're only gonna use that one layer, okay? That dark layer right there. It doesn't have to line up with that, but I'm just going to make it line up with that. We're going to stamp off this time again because we want it to be lighter green so that our gold lights will show up. All right, so stamp off and then put your white and stamp. Okay, so we've got a light green tree. We're not going to do the second layer because we're gonna do these gold lights. So Versamark, and just tap, tap, tap your ink because you don't wanna get Versamark in here because then you're gonna have a mess with your embossing powder. Oh, I didn't use my embossing, buddy. This may in fact be a disaster. Let's see, because it already has ink on it, Let's see, let's see. You really wanna use your embossing buddy. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna have to do that again. So let's just bring that back over. You, because we have a layer of ink there, you really gotta use that embossing buddy to tell your um, embossing powder where not to stick. And I forgot. So let's do this. Okay, there we go. Now, grab your embossing buddy and really like, you wanna really pat it down, okay? Now, let's try that again. A little Versamark and some gold. And it better do what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> there we go, see? Look, 
with the embossing buddy, without the embossing buddy. You can see it's all like, it was stuck to the other where it wasn't supposed to stick. A little commercial for the embossing buddy. It comes with the, what do we call this? The embossing accessory kit, I believe. Now we're gonna hit it with a heat tool. Oh, always, Christine, always, always. There's no editing in Facebook Live for sure. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Done. Okay. We're going to stamp our sentiment in real red. If I haven't lost my red ink pad, it's over here. And we're going to put that sending Christmas cheer. Where are my trays? I need to get some of this stuff out of here. Too much stuff. All right, bring over your cut and emboss machine. This time, we've done ornaments, we've done bows. This time, we'll do stars. And we're going to use this gold distressed gold specialty paper. All right, now your paper, when you heat emboss it, it gets a little warped. So if you're having a hard time getting your dye to match up there or to lay because your paper's kind of warped, you, that's a good place to use your um, post-it tape. I'm gonna take my label, turn it sideways. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, shouldn't I have six stars? One, two, three, no, I guess there's just five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why they're not connected. Is there a star? Oh, that's why, because you have a star stamp. I was thinking, why aren't they connected like the bows? But you probably need them individually to stamp your stars. All right, nice, look at that. Put them back where they go, immediately. Take it from the queen of lost dyes. Put it back as soon as you use it. Okay, now we're just gonna again use some liquid glue. Yeah, that gold paper is really pretty, very different than anything else. You could also use um, a brush metallic paper, right? Um, take your pick right here, star one, star two. Now this triangle box too, doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. You could do a Halloween version, you could do a birthday version, you know. I just, in my mind, that's what popped up in my mind when I was thinking what kind of 3D treat should we make with our Christmas tree? And I thought, let's do a triangle box like the shape of the tree. All right, there's that. And then one more wonky dimensional. <laughs> and there we have it, treat box. All right, we made it. I didn't fall asleep. I didn't, I didn't screw up too bad today. Not too bad. Oh goodness. Okay, so let's look at what we made. Triangle treat box and two Christmas cards. Remember, if you want these as make and takes, make sure your order, you can order anything you want, but you're gonna need this bundle to make them, okay? Um, if you don't have the bundle, you you could substitute anything you want, but the this bundle works really well, obviously, with the project. So, you know, if you haven't got the bundle, remember that the dies are only while supplies last and only supposedly through the end of September. Um, so if you plan on getting that stamp set, make sure you get those dies now. Um, I have it listed on here. There's the bundle right there. And then I also just have the regular dies there too. So if you have a stamp set, you just want to get the dies. If you don't have the stamp set yet, then you want to use the bundle number. Okay. 
All right, you guys, next week we are doing Halloween projects. Finally, it's time to do Halloween. Um, we'll do a few weeks of Halloween, actually. Um, and then we'll get back to Christmas, probably. It'll be wall-to-wall -wall Christmas. All your Christmas needs. <laughs> we'll be sick of Christmas by the time December gets here. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, remember, orders end by Monday at midnight. I'll send these to you free next week on Wednesday. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thank you. Bye.